Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to keep a certain part of an image in color while turning the rest black and white in Adobe Photoshop. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial on screen right now. You can see a quick example of this. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is load up whatever image you want in Photoshop. So right now I have this cool picture of me taken at Fax in Belgium. But I think it would be even cooler if I would turn the rest of the image black and white while keeping this red hat on top of my head to just be in color. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is selecting the part of the image that you want to keep in color. Like I said, I want to keep this red part of my hat. So I'm going to be zooming in by holding Alt and then scrolling in on top of my image to zoom into where I want to actually keep in color. From here, I'm going to be selecting my quick selection tool over in my panel on the left hand side. If you can't find it, it may be under your magic wand or W on your keyboard for a shortcut and I'm going to be clicking and dragging all over the color or the actual object in which you want to select. Now the quick selection tool is really nice because it'll select any color that's similar that you drag over while you have your left click of your mouse held down. If we hold alt on our keyboard we can see that our plus on the inside of our quick selection tool turns to a minus. Now this is really nice because if you select a part of an image accidentally we can highlight over it while holding alt and we can see that we can deselect this part of the image. So what I'm going to be doing is reselecting this part of our image and our goal here is just to select all the part of the image that you want to have highlighted in color. So in this case I'm going to be zooming in and I'm going to be making sure I have all the red hat selected and all of the little bits around it that need to be brought into it. So as you can tell there's a couple of little bits missing here and you want to just make sure you have all the parts around the image selected to make sure you have all the red taken from the image and if there's any parts like I said that shouldn't be in the image simply hold alt and then deselect those parts of the image. You want to try to be as accurate as you can while doing this. I'm not going to be incredibly accurate in this case just for speed and efficiency of this video. This is really just to show you guys how to do it and then you can be more accurate in your own images when you try to do this yourself. Almost happy. I think I have most of the hat selected and with that last little bit there I think I have the whole hat selected for what I want to actually have in color. So from here what we're doing is clicking Control and J which is going to bring our hat to a new layer. Now if we bring our attention down to the layers panel on the bottom right if we hide our original image we can see only our hat is on this top layer which is the desired effect that we're going for. What we're going to do is reshow our base image, we're going to select it, and then we're going to be adding an adjustment by coming down here to the half circle on the bottom, and we're going to be adding a hue and saturation layer. Now we're going to be coming between our layers, and we're going to make sure our hue and saturation layer is on top of our example base image. We're going to be coming between the layers, and we're going to be holding Alt until we see this little symbol here, and this symbol is a mask. So we're going to be selecting, and if we come to the left of our hue and saturation layer, you can see that there's a small arrow pointing downwards, which means anything we do to this hue and saturation layer will only affect our base layer image which it's actually masked onto which in this case is going to be our base image that we use in the very beginning. Now we're going to be double clicking our half circle on the saturation layer to open up the panel for the properties and we're going to be turning the saturation all the way down to remove all the color from this image and as you can tell we instantly take the image black and white but we keep the red hat on our head to be in color and this effect can look really really cool and in this case I think it does look really cool. It adds a little bit of diversity to the color especially with the bokeh in the background from the actual lens because it looks really really cool. Anyway guys if you enjoyed this be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel if you want to request a video let me know in the comments down below i'm also going to leave a link down below to my paypal if you want to support me if you like the videos of course there's no pressure if you can't anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace